Some organisations say that the state of grassroots rugby league is disrepute. We're here at Kingston Park to talk to Newcastle Thunder players on their thoughts on grassroots rugby and what challenges they face. It wasn't as big as a game, really. Um, I just think there's probably not a lot of opportunities as, as there could have been when I was down down there. But for me, it was the right people that got you, got you involved and, and pushed you to the to the next level. It's, it's a tough ask. Um, the main challenge for me was actually getting noticed. I, I grew up in you know a non-rugby league area in Scarborough, um, obviously North Yorkshire, um, mostly rugby union. Um, there wasn't even a rugby league team there till I sort of you know 12 hours played rugby union at school. And so it did finally come round. You know, it's not many pro clubs looking at them kind of games. Um, so my biggest challenge was just putting myself out there. But I was lucky enough to get spotted. Managing director Keith Christie tells us how much the game has developed in the North East over the last few years. But he says more still needs to be done with the help of the RFL. Games and growth, the variety and the versions of rugby league now available um, are second to none. You know, you can go from your minis, tots, rugrats up to your, your masters, which allows everybody who caters for wheelchair rugby, ladies rugby. You have a variety of rugby to play if you want to play rugby, uh, rugby league in the North East. Especially, it's grown from, you know, what was 14 teams in uh, 2009, up to nearly 21 teams. And that goes from one-man teams to several teams plus juniors and adults. So for me, it's 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 capitalising on the opportunity we've got, not necessarily RFL funded, but you know we have a desire as a rugby league family to create a sport. We've got to better ourselves. We, we can't let the RFL fund everything and develop. We've got to take some responsibility. But as a kid, I was given the opportunity to play rugby league. I had to travel to Yorkshire, but now I'm fortunate enough that I can give that that, that back to the community and, and make sure that you know that the other guys who've come through will leave some sort of legacy that, that, that were, were supporting the game in the North East. Um, I know certainly as I was growing up, I really enjoyed my time in you know grassroots rugby league at my, at my community club. John Brooks, the SR News.